Shot of Discourse. You already know what it is. The WNBA is on fire right now. And guess what? Divorce is on the rise. And if you didn't know, in October, student loans are back. Let's start the show. What the hell you talking about? Yeah. Talking about. Yeah. Since I'm the only thing to talk about, being here from the start. Nah, I don't want your walk. Shot of the week. I don't know what I want to title this one. I don't know what the flavor is. If you were to give this week a, a nice... Taste. What, do you, what would it be to you? I mean, low key. I, I, I've been watching WNBA lately, so mm-hmm. I mean, playoff time. Playoff time, but playoff like time. when when it's really crunch time, mm. and it's like everything's on the line. What drink would you go to? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, what is the alcohol of choice? Oh, tequila. 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 I drink tequila. Crunch time. Crunch time. Yeah. I feel like that's fun time. Like party started. We all chilling. Not like hyper in the zone. Nah, when you're in the zone, tequila. It keeps you in that zone. It keeps you there. Mm. What, what would keep you? What do you? What do you? If I'm hold, if I'm like hunkering down, I'm going. I'm going gin. Gin. Yeah, I'm mm. going gin. I'm not a gin drinker, so you, you real hot. With that. Real hot. Like that's a serious alcoholic thing. That's a real serious alcoholic drink. You right, Dave. And I really, you know, I feel like this week with what everything's going on, I need a, I need a tough one. It's either gonna be like a mix where you do all shots, but nobody does that. No. But I think a strong gin shot would, would call for what this week has been through. Even though we're not drinking that this week, or we're not drinking that for this this episode. Yeah. We got our shots. You think, how did you enjoy your experience with the WNBA? Um, it's pretty mixed. I mean, the Just game, like how you just yawned and exhaled? I'm, it was, I'm it was, starting no, to feel like it was it, boring. It was mi- no, it, it was mixed. <laughs> it was mixed. It's a playoff game. Mm-hmm. Uh any game, any sports thing that comes down to final minute, teams are tied up, it gets exciting. So I think that's, it, like, it wasn't a blowout. Any game that's, like, last minute is tied up, is that not exciting at all? I, I'm i I'm struggling with the WNBA and exciting. Ah. That's where you get <laughs> I mean, I think the game... That's where you get me, brother. So that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I think WNBA is itself. Like, did somebody dunk finally? No. Okay. Not this game. Uh... I don't know if this season, but not this Just season. letting you guys know, I do not watch the WNBA. Mm. Not because I'm against women playing basketball. I think they could play sports. I just can't, I can't get with it. And you know what? I, I kind of equate it to me not like watching uh, college sports. Okay. Yeah. It's not perfect. It's not like, there's no, I feel like it's not professional. You know College I mean? sports is definitely no. Certain games right. are not professional. Yeah, but some like, high quality teams watching? look very professional. Okay, and you feel like that's true for all WNBA no, teams? No, no, because again, even in WNBA, there's some good teams, some bad teams. In the playoffs, mm. now mm. most mm. of your teams are you know these are solid teams. Got you. But uh, yeah, it was at the end of the game. It was tied up. I thought it got a little interesting. It went into overtime actually. Okay. So that actually kept my interest. Okay. Um, but and. Yeah, that that's my only takeaway was that was interesting. <laughs> Other than that, the play wasn't, you know, nobody's dunking, nobody's nobody's doing anything spectacular. Got you. Uh yeah. So you say you're watching the playoffs. Yeah. What team what game what team was it? Like Liberty and uh shout out to New York. Yeah, Liberty and I forget who they were playing. This is not looking good for you, man. Me or the I mean I mean let's let's do the shot. Let's yeah. do the shot. Because you know where I'm going with it. NBA, is, WNBA is what? God bless you. <laughs> mm. So let's get into it. A lot of people are going to be like, and please, let's not, let's not spend too much time hitting another sports talk. Yeah. But um, WNBA, the part that's, that bothers me with the complaints is just that they talk about not having enough support for their sport. People not buying into it, and they want to get paid more. I don't everybody want to get paid more. I don't see it. Where's this money coming from? Tampon sponsorships? Oh, Dang. My bad, bro. <laughs> my bad, bro. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna be a better person. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to be better. in this pot. I got you. I got you. I, got I need you to be better. But no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's what, Can that's you what, imagine though a no, maxi I cannot, cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Like just, a max. Yeah. <laughs> I need. I mean, logistically, I think people 
Like, there's like, I don't think anybody's like, yeah, I hate the WNBA. People might be like, I'm not interested in it. But like, it's like any other sport. Like, it's it's a good, it's basketball. People like basketball. It's just like, uh, it's, uh, surprisingly, not a lot of people like basketball. I mean, it's not one when of you talk about global sport. Global sport, oh, it's, it's not even close. Ju- w, yeah. The NBA is just becoming yeah a global sport. Bear, yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's, yeah. it's really an American thing. Then that's another thing. Like I think that's where they have a disadvantage to other some of these other sports like tennis, soccer. Like that's global. Like, yeah, when you talk <laughs> perfect. When you talk about the females that are in those sports, like tennis, soccer, it's it's a global thing that's that they're you know that yeah. they're in they draw a global money they draw yeah. global revenue i don't think it's there yet with basketball no i mean not here like not in the states i mean it's just fundamentally different like they're not as mm-hmm. be honest if you're, you're not as athletic you can't do some of the highlights or dunks and stuff that like oh we're accustomed God. to seeing in the nba yo what was so funny um y'all is that uh, Jamie and I talked about you know the WNBA thing this week, and you told like when you told me it was the playoffs, I was like, how? Again, like there were no TV top ten plays of the playoffs going on when I was at the barbershop, and that's usually how I catch up on my sports anyway. So I was like, what? Like it happened? And I just randomly crossed it because I was <laughs> scrolling. I'm just like, that shouldn't be. And it was on a. It was on a Sunday. Yeah. I think it had to be on a Sunday. Yeah. I'm like, why are you competing with football? One, I, I don't know. It was It was the weird. The time slots is going to be always crazy. It was either, a mo- maybe it was a Monday because I, it's always gonna be they crazy, were competing bro. with football. I know football had came on that day or something like that. And I was just like, that's weird. But granted, when you have certain sports, like some sports overlap, you can't help that. But uh, yeah, I felt like I've seen no publicity for it. And, you know, maybe I'm not, I don't know, watching the right channels for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think they have to realize, uh, first of all, for the revenue thing to fix itself, no. there has to be eyes on it. Yeah. And there has to be publicity, marketing towards this. Yeah. If you're not running on ESPN, first of all, there are a lot of female sportcasters. Like, what's going on? There's probably a lot of female ESPN producers. Um, why are they not putting this in the time slot to increase the eyes? The other thing, when you th- talk about sports, I feel like dudes want to turn their brain off and... Sports is an opportunity for them to do that and escape. Uh, so sports is already a man's lane, unlike an audience, a watcher, a buyer, a customer. So think about the time when the WNBA game on. It's like late at night. I think women that watch TV or binge like as a fan, it, it just doesn't match with them at all. Yeah. Like the Women are either going to be at work or they're at night. This is why all the daytime TV is geared towards women. Yeah, because the kids are at school. Uh, you know, what else do women do when they're <laughs> okay? They're at school. They're prepping the house. I don't know. Uh, but during the day, that's when all these female TV shows are on, right? Like they cook, clean, and they. I don't know what they're doing at home. <laughs> okay. My wife isn't a stay at home, so she's at work. So if you if you think about her, like, she's never gonna watch the uh, NBA game because when when she gets home. She wants to watch her stuff that yeah. she missed already, her reality TV and all that. Yeah. So I don't think there's really an audience for the WNBA to be successful. I'm, it's it's really tough. And I mean, I, I'll leave it here. It's just that every even female, they always compare it to their counterpart. Yeah. And I think WNBA has the largest gap in what the finished product looks like. W WNBA the finished product being the NBA yeah okay I mean like no well finished product in between like all right the best WNBA compared to the best NBA game yeah mm-hmm. like the gap between those two is really different from the, to me a female tennis match to a male tennis match okay or a female soccer match to a male soccer match I got you like the speeds might be a little different you know even softball and baseball like things might be different right but. It's a larger gap in those two sports, and especially entertainment value. So that's why they they, they can't get the eyes on it. They can't give no me eyes, no money. What would be your uh, solution to help it be more entertaining? Um, I think what is easily attainable the Steph Curry effect. So I think we recently Steph Curry, okay. Steph Curry is not the most athletic basketball player, mm-hmm. but he is definitely one of the most entertaining. We would agree. I gotta argue that, but okay. 
All right, we can argue. Entertaining, the most entertaining? I say he's one of the most. One of the, yeah. One of the most right now. And I think his ability to hit the three-point shot at will, his handles, that's a key part of his game. Uh, I think I would focus more on that in terms of younger, shooting. upcoming girls shooting. Like, everything to make it look like it's a clinic out there. Like, if y'all, it, it'll be amazing if y'all missed a shot. Okay. To make it like that. Like, I mean, I know you have to run plays. There's layups and stuff like that. Cool. But for you to get it exciting, it has to we be like... We here for all that. Yeah. Yeah. We, we here... <laughs> we looking for girls that just... That's hitting threes, eyes closed. Like, if you... Uh, shoot a three and you walk back to the other court, oh, that's entertaining. Like, I think that can be achievable because as we see... Like, we, we're not expecting you to do between the leg dunk. Like, we're not expecting you to do those type of... Yeah. You know, entertaining factors, but... Steph I feel Curry like we need too. drama... In the w, WNBA? As what type of drama we looking like? So, like, you, for example, Dray, Draymond Green was the mm. story all last NBA season. Fighting a fighting teammate, uh, potting every time I'm not, he's done with a game. I'm not opposed to that. I think I think you in need, terms need, of, like, story and play, like, yeah. you don't you don't hear too much about that. Yep. Like, everybody, it's, to me, like, what I, I mean, what I see, and maybe I'm not watching up, but everybody looks cool. Everybody looks like they're friends. Everybody, I don't even know if there's a rivalry. That, that's how far I'm, I'm removed. Mm, nah, I think there's rivalries. I think, I there's, like, like, teams that don't like other teams. I think Giannis got a chip against some some people. He don't no, like No, I mean, in, in the NBA. I'm talking about. WNBA or NBA? WNBA. I don't know if there's any rivalry. I have no idea, that's like, what I'm in my brain. That's what I'm I do saying. have one thing that's funny that I want you to, uh, we could talk about. We'll see. Rakrina Williams. You know who that is? No. So she's a former um, WNBA player. I think she got kicked off the team. So she actually got involved in domestic violence. She got into an altercation with her girlfriend. And her girlfriend, you know, she was, you know, there together. Looks at her phone and she texts in a dude. Hmm. So she's like, what's that in your phone? They go, They go through it. She uh, beats her up, mm. kicks her out of the house, and takes the phone is now, she takes the phone because she's paying the bills and all that stuff. So the girl, that's the, um, you know, they're, you know, they're lesbians. She's talking about she wants to go back to Florida and visit her son, but really it's like, I want to go back to the guy. So of course, her queen is like really upset, puts the beats on her, and then she's like, you better get out of this house by the time I come back. So, that's being brought up. Have you heard of this story at all? I have not. Okay. Isn't it interesting how domestic violence in sports gets thrown up when it's a black dude? All the time. If, if you breathe on a girl wrong or you take it to a Ray Rice, I think, first of all, all of those situations are disgusting. People, please. I already yeah. know. But... When this happens, it's still a female who's a victim. Yeah. No one talks about it. I'm, yeah, now I'm about to do my research. I, I haven't heard of this yeah. at all. The Queen of Williams, bro. And I, I just I just find it hilarious. Like, the WNBA is so trash that they don't even recognize, like, domestic violence. I'm not saying, <laughs> like, what's going I'm not on? saying they don't. I also think, like, when you say eyes, then we talk about money. But also in these sports shows... They have a bottom line anyway. They not they not equipped to they they like yo we not spending this much time on the WNBA right now because nobody that's wild. If we but talk the about WNBA, we might have people turning the channel from what we're what we're doing. That's what I think. Yeah. So I'm just like I mean until hey let's you know we'll mention it. What? So why does the sport exist? What do you mean? It's a it's a it's a. I mean, the sport itself is basketball. Got you. The females play it, and they have a league. WNBA. But they, but nobody's gonna cover them on the news. No, nothing. I think they do. I mean, they do from time to time. It's just like how much. But time you're not gonna hear them around the horn. You don't think that would help at all? It should. I think, yeah, I, I think, think it, rather it, than it, asking the NBA people to cut pieces of their salary and give it to WNBA <laughs> people, I think they should focus on. Creating their own lane for endorsements. Well, uh, yeah. I think they need to uh, try to attack. I've seen, I've and seen get a lot more, more female endorsements. I, I know, yeah, yeah, and that's great. But then the news cycle has to be around them a little bit. Yeah. And I'm sorry to bring up Rakrina Williams and her domestic violence stuff, but as much as black men get drugged out of the mud for altercations with their ladies or like 
their lady cheats on them or yeah, I forgot that football player um I think he did he play for the Lions? No, he played for um the Dolphins. And <clears throat> him and a him and a lady his him and his like side chick got into an argument. She was at the house. He kicked her out. She came back with her brother and like two other goons. And she was telling him, go shoot this place up, blah, blah, shoot, shoot the house up. She's on, she's all taping of the, uh, the calls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he go, he, they, they knock on the door. They drag his brother outside, start beating him up. He comes with the AR and airs every, air everything out on the street. Happens to uh, eliminate <laughs> two of the ops, right? Now he's, he's in trial and all that stuff. It's like, Crazy. no, he's, he stood his ground. He defended himself. That got a whole new cycle, but. And they wanted to pay him as a monster from the beginning. They wanted but, to pay, you said paint him as a monster. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the dude's name, but it's, it's not going by, like that. But all right, switching gears, Doc. I am in fear of my matrimony, Why? my marriage. <laughs> What's up, man? It's getting crazy What's out up, here. What's up, bro? Divorce landslides is nuts. Ah. Iman, Iman and Tiana Taylor. That's the one that's really messing me up. Anthony Anderson just finished his settlement. So let's let's really get the overview, right? So Iman and um Tiana Iman Trumper and Tiana Taylor, they supposedly are separated, right? I don't know if they're officially they going to divorce. Been separated for a while. Been separated for a while. I don't know if divorce, you know, filings have been put in. Yeah. All right. Next, Anthony Anderson and his wife. Mm. They're going through they think they just settled. And he gotta pay like some crazy amount of money per month for spousal support. And I think it's like $4 million in the settlement that she's getting. And then I'm happy about this. Young Jeezy and Jeannie Mai. Oh, thank God. I, I wanted to see that one topple. But we'll go, we'll do this. <laughs> we'll do, we'll do Iman and Tiana Taylor first. That is the quintessential couple on Instagram that like everybody wants to be. And then... Boom. It's over. I mean, that's what I want to hear. I just, I, I think reality is like, people got to realize, like, you look at Instagram, you look at these couples and stuff like that. These are celebrities. They're not showing you how bad it is. Mm. And even if they do show you how bad it is, that's what they want to show you. They might not want, they're not going to show they you. They pick what they want to show you. Exactly. Because I can show you something bad. It's all edited. I'm not going to show you the bad, bad stuff. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. just like, if... Like, oh, no, they showed us that they went through this, they went through that. Cool. That's what's up. But you don't see them 24-7. They're really human that's, beings. That's the thing. That's and it's just thing. like, I think the people that idolize these people are crazy to me. But you know what's crazy? Tiana Taylor will talk about, like, going having threesomes for her man, and she wants to do that. Um, their non-traditional lifestyle. And I, and I believe every marriage is going to be different. Like, you know, to be happy, you you can't fit a certain mold but i feel like there's certain things you just don't invite into your situation like what threesomes threesomes okay like you know i've i've I probably said this before it's a lot of work it's a lot of work it's a lot of work as a man i i'm going with my one and i'm trying to get as much as i'm trying to squeeze as much juice <laughs> <laughs> out my one as possible so to have two is just like ah, i'm good bro that's a young man's game it's a young man's game, young man's vision. I ain't trying to even what is like what logistically, what does that look like in the morning? Like you got kids, you gotta wake up. Like, I'm not trying to like, have some chick it's, come it's very like, come it's, it's very complicated. Like it's it's more of a to me, I've I've always especially married. Like if you're not married, even in a relationship, it's it's a hassle. It might not be worth the hassle. Yeah. But I can see it happening in a relationship, like not pre marriage, pre you know pre marriage. Mm -hmm. But once you marry, it, it's too like the risk outweighs any possible benefit that can come from that, and it's just and the hassle to do it. It just seems like it's a lot. So, so I would yeah. It this would is never. like the reason why I'm even bringing it up. You might think like when when women look at this this marriage. You're like, oh, I need to do that for my man in order to have this type of a marriage. Like, they look like the freak couple, the fun couple, and all this other stuff. You don't know how they paying bills and nothing behind the scenes, right? Yeah. So, I'm bringing it up because it's like, damn. How many people idolize that situation and now right. it's over? 
try to do that. Try well, to do the same. Can do the same thing. Yeah, I mean, it's the same. I feel like unless you've gone into a marriage with two other people, yeah, and y'all ain't y'all y'all three, y'all y'all get married <laughs> like that. You know, what I'm, hey, polyamorous, whatever yeah, y'all want to yeah. do, cool. That makes sense. That's what y'all been doing. That's what y'all want to continue to do. That is a relationship all in itself with y'all three. But now you, any other marriage with two people, you're bringing somebody in. Yeah. Regardless of how that looks, you're bringing somebody in. And it is so many possibilities of that going too wrong. Too many, left, too right. many things. Like, I you know be- what I, I, I fear? <laughs> I probably should. The thing, no, that, the thing that would concern me, though, <laughs> is like if my girl ever just went full-blown lesbian. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong, but, but that would be a concern. Not my turn. Not now. Yeah. My turn. Not on my turn. <laughs> not, 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 not my turn. <laughs> Why are you gonna do that to me? Oh, that, <laughs> you I mean, know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's kind of wild. So yeah. I wouldn't want like you you invite a chick over, then the vibes is nice, and then she's too much cuddling with your shorty. Yeah. yeah. Like I got the reverse did, nightmare women have. Did, did you did you get jealous? Huh? Then you get jealous? I wouldn't get jealous. I wouldn't get jealous. I would be like I would be the idiot that's like, oh yeah, no, nah, y'all can go out, y'all it's cool. Like <laughs> you would find out like two years later. Yeah, like, like they had a whole relationship. I'm like, damn, I didn't see the sign. <laughs> <laughs> now, what if like she wants to bring a, a male into the situation? That's an that's not. We don't even need to talk about we that. Not, that's not never. What happened. is that? This, that's not a. We can't train this girl every night. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's not a threesome. No, I'm saying some females say that. Some females' argument to, hey, let's have a threesome is like, all right, well, let's let's bring it to God if you want no, me to bring. It. No, 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 no. We not talking about that. We not talking about that. That's crazy. That's gay. <laughs> I mean, they what they doing is gay. <laughs> you just do it. <laughs> Nah, remember I said no three <laughs> guys <laughs> in the beginning of in the beginning of this conversation yeah. I said no threes is period. So I'm not even entertaining the dude. Nah, that be that's not a, that's, that's sick. That's not on the plate. Mm, mm, mm. That's sick. That's sick work. I just I like could say, you imagine? That? No, just just imagine the hairy legs rolling up on you. No, nah, 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 we too close. No, 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 we no, too no. we too close. Uh, yeah, and I, I, yeah, yeah, nah, can't nah. And again, it's your Ooh. wife. And you don't want to see her in that predicament. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I always say this. I'm like, can you imagine two of me? That's what I'm saying. Taking you out. Now, now, for respect for some women, I know some women that can handle that. So they can handle two guys. But thank God I never <laughs> pursued that freakazoid. I don't want that smoke. A girl that can handle multiple men. And I'm not that. I would never be too. I would never sign up. <laughs> never sign up. Where were you at earlier? Oh, I was at I was at Mike Mike House. Mike Mike. 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 <laughs> you gotta say his name twice. <laughs> no, sir. I was at Mike Mike House. <laughs> oh, let me serve you up before you go to sleep. Just get your hot pom pom away from me. <laughs> Get your hot boom boom out of here. <laughs> you got to give it a day's rest, my, a day's, my girl. A day's rest? You got, listen. If Shorty, if Shorty has relations to me, you got to take a day rest, bro. I'm not doing my job if she, if she could she just, just run off to something else. All in later. another hour? Jeez. How would you, what do you think? Like, I, I would feel some type of way. That's gangster. If she could run through... Silence, bro. But we digress. We dig. Yes, we. You just shook the world up. Man. I'm sorry. No two dudes, bro. It's but course. then, like I'm, I go back to Tiana and how their relationship was idolized. It just almost makes it seem like marriage is no hope. When you see a couple like that who's nah. so fun, but so, that's that's it has you, such a bright fire. That's if you idolize it. I always look at every situation as you are just you are me. You are you are normal. Joe that I see on the street. Like you if you bleed uh, like how I bleed. Your divorce is the same as a divorce of somebody I, I a person I, I know. Like Chill. It's I don't know, bro. 
if one of if one of like, I'll be more surprised if a friend of mine gets divorced. That's what I'm saying. One of them gets if if a if a friend get divorced, it's like yo, that that's what I'm close. saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what, so, but I'm thinking people are like oh, shocked. I'm like, what are we shocked about? These are not somebody. Oh, no, you know I was close shocked. To. I was shocked. I'm not shocked. And meaning like they look like they was cool. I'm not shocked. They look like they was like, cool. Was, they honestly lived their truth. I don't know. I know. I, maybe I'd be like taken back because it's just like. I haven't really followed it that much, and you don't see all the. Hey, I, maybe I didn't see it coming, but like you say it, mm-hmm. and they're a celebrity to an extent where I don't know. I'm not surprised, bro. Divorce happens, bro. We don't know what these people are doing. You're right, but in a world where you can click and see what their story is for the day, the story. You know what I think happened, and we'll go into the other divorces too. But you know what I think happened is like they honestly. We're working so hard and being separated and all that stuff that you're not really married to each Possibly. other. Possibly, you know what I'm saying? You like, got the time. I was just, I was just telling um my wife like, so there's like a kind of like an opportunity to kind of go harder at work, right? And for you, yeah, maybe see other clients, expand, expand work what I'm doing, and and. You know, she's like, oh, turn up. You need to blah, blah, You need to. And I'm like, nah, you know what that might look like? Like being in a plane it's pros every and day. Oh, you oh, you travel. Yeah. And like visiting multiple sites and all this other stuff. Like, and I wouldn't, you know, call and FaceTime and, you know, my baby. Like, yeah, I don't want to. I don't. I like I just enjoy being home. It's so there's a lot of money to get. But it's like I'm kind of cool right now. I'm not stressed yeah. out. I don't need to travel. I'm not like in hotels every, you know, every week. You know what I mean? It's pros and cons to... to and mean, then our relationship, right? Yeah. So. Specifically what you said, I think it's pros and cons to it. And I think it needs to align with your goals. If you have very realistic goals, like focus-based, you can achieve right now what you're doing. Why do that? And do, That's what I'm But if you have some like specific goals coming up where it's like, hey, we need 20, you know, we need the extra cash. Then it might be like, yo... Let's do this for this goal. Yeah. Then we can ratchet back down. I think things yeah. need to be more goal driven and realize not everything is that's not a that's not a positive. No. I mean it's a positive, but yeah. it comes with a bunch of negatives that people mm-hmm. never realize, especially when it comes to money. No, absolutely. And I think the other thing too is like when you talk about goals, family is a goal too. And like a hundred. I know I like I'll be looking at my daughter, I'm like hundred. I'm just here. I'm present. I'm present right now, and I, I, that's how I want. Bro, to I, be. I looked at Levi the other day, yeah. and I was just we was literally it was like maybe forty minutes laying on the ground, just like I was just connecting. hugging him, connecting. And it was just like I'm mad. I'm hurt. I can't yeah. work right now. Yeah. But the time it gives me with him, you're really seeing. You're, where can I get that? You I've seen them grow awesome. the last two weeks. Yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah, my son is a. This is a big deal for all those watching. <laughs> My oldest is a very picky eater. <laughs> He's been eating food that I never thought he would eat, and it's just been amazing to watch. And I'm yeah. just like, he ate a pep- pepperoni pizza today. I mean, that's not a big deal, but I got I, to I me, know, I know to, the man. I know the man. <laughs> I know the man. So that's just, that's so huge. it's just like I'm like, is this because I'm here? Yeah. And like, it's some of the stuff I'm looking at happened. I'm like, is this because I'm here? Because it's weird. It's just like, Damn. why is he doing this now? You know what I'm saying? Yo, so that's crazy. It's weird. We're gonna go on a little tangent, but. I feel like what you're saying is sometimes I'm experiencing that too. It's like because I'm here, you're acting like this. Cause I, I know I hear stories about what you did and when I'm not around. And then like I I'm on I'm in the bed today and she got this big iron rod thing. And we took it away from her like forty five times. So she finds it and she's like walking by me, but her hands is like low, yeah, and she, she's just like, "Do you see me?" And like, I'm, I'm like, "You're, you're up to something." Yeah. So she's like trying to like skirt by. Yeah. And then finally, the covering, which is the bed, is like, is there's no more bed. So now I see the iron rod. I'm like, "Put that back." She's like, and she's she drops like, it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's so is it that dad being in that presence is just so. Yeah. And I'm sure, like, you know, your son want to make you proud. That's why he's eating more stuff. And he's like, look, man. I'm oh, we've been able to do certain things. Like, go out, you know, he wants to hit tennis. He wants to he wants to do certain things. And I'm able to do that with him. Only because, mm-hmm. you know, I have this time. I'm able to see him play. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he's in T-ball right now. I'm able to see that. And it's just, I don't know. And, and even my youngest, his personality in the last two weeks. like You really see it. 
it's crazy. Just yeah. like the uh, like he's saying little uh oh, like all this That's like the catching yeah. you know catching like ball yeah. like the ball and stuff. It's just like it's just a uh, it's just a lot. So we're the best dads um, of our like our generation of dads. Oh yeah, we're really about to be a case study. Yeah. I want everybody to know that. Now. The other part about divorce, separating from the kids, that's got to be crazy. It, so when you say when you say you talk about like that is my like that I don't think I I'm I can't wrap my head around yet. Yeah. Like if if in situations where like being a weekend like, dad? not in the same household as my a weekend dad, uh, that's crazy. That I, I just I don't like like I get I get upset I don't like thinking about it. I, I get, <laughs> That shit makes you feel. I, I don't like think. Yo. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't like thinking about it because it's like, and I know sometimes it happens to dudes, and it's not like their choice, and it's you know, things happen. Like you, you just didn't find the right one, and now you can be the want to be the best dad you can be. And but she blocks it. She, she blocks it. It's just like that is to me. That's like that's illegal. That's like that's crazy. crazy. Yo, and this because is- as a man, I'm be honest with you. A man, I can deal with so much. Like I could probably live with somebody I hate. If it means living with nah, my children. Nah, not every day. Not every day. I, I'm, I gotta I'm get a, out of here. I'm, I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm tough. I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm pay. I'm. You're I'm, Ameri- I'm, you know what? I'm you're psychotic. American. <laughs> you're, Ameri- you're American. You're American. You're American. You're American. Jamaicans. Yeah. We're killing everything. Like I, I, I don't. I my temper. I got a low temper. I'm man. I'm methodical. Yeah, I think. I, now that I think about it, yeah, you good. Like for me, nah, I can't even. And like, what if like I know some women that bring dudes to the house? Yeah, dudes to the house. Yeah. Nah, but my brain different. Like once it, once it switches, I you can legit do anything you want, regardless. To I, I'm assuming with those yeah. kids, I'm done. Well, I mean that's how it's been. But the then past. you gotta get out of here for yourself, so Ooh. you can live your life. I I would oh I would live my life. How? I feel like I would have to be on the side, like not to the extent. Like I'm, I'm a would definitely take a hit because I'm gonna stay, yeah. you know, stay there with the kids. Yeah. It would be, but it'll be tough. I, I just, it's tough, and I know I know dudes that do it all the time, and I would love, you know, to have that, you know, conversation. But that's what we should tough. set up one of these days, like a pod with like. Uh, Rod wants to that? come back. Rod. Rod wants to come back. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can do that. Yeah. But like the. Hmm, he'd be, yeah. So we'll, we'll talk, and I, I'm, I don't, I, Rod never went through no divorce, so I don't want to mm-hmm. put that even, that thought out there. But um, even having conversations with, like, divorce men yeah. and, like, what actually happened. I would love it. And what to look out for. Not like they, we need to get warning or anything, but uh, it'd just be interesting. It'd be interesting. I want all the knowledge. I mean, I, I would love, like, we talk about these guys that got divorced. Like, I would love to hear I'm always interested in both sides. Like, you know, everybody wants to talk to, hey, you've been married 50 years. How did you do it? I yeah. want to know. You got divorced. What happened? And I want to talk to the guys that got divorced and they're happy. Oh, yeah. They're happy. Yeah. I, Living. The, the blindsided ones. Those are the ones that, those ones really get me. Free. Bro. Really. Free, dumb. Really get me. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, I've been real conscious now of oh, like... Oh, you saying divorce and happy now? Yeah. Oh. Because they've been in sucky situations. I thought you were saying like they were happy until it was like, yo, hey, let's get a divorce. <laughs> no, what, oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. They, they, you always hear about like the um the, the husband that he gets divorced. Now he got to downsize into a condo oh, yeah, and like yeah, yeah. the kids look down on him yeah. and whatever. But like there's, there's some situations that actually make sense. So it would be interested to look at that. But like... I don't know, man. Like you said, the kid thing, whew, that's the one. I like, hell no. Like, I don't want to be no weekend dad. And then you got another dude around my chick, my um, my daughter. Ooh, I mm-hmm. can't. We got to have fisticuffs. Unless I really hate the person, but I don't see that happen. Yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah. Like I said. Oh, I, and I got to get cheeks, too. Still. I'm confused. I Yeah. I had this other conversation, too. If, if, I, I said, if my wife ever leave me, I'm doubling all the time. Wait, Wait, what's the country? Say? What's the country we're what? Dublin is in? Huh? What? That was a bar, Dublin. Dublin's in Ireland. Dublin, yeah, yeah. I'm Dublin like Ireland. What do you? How? What do you? <laughs> what, what do you want to do? I'm always gonna spend the block back on my wife. Why would you do that? Cause I'm I'm toxic. Uh, always gonna spend the block back. I'm done. What? I'm done. What? If it ever, cause you, well, you're not thinking. You're not thinking about why. If it, it, think about this. If it ever gets to that point. 
Mm-hmm. It has to be something so significant to get to that point. I would never look at you in that same way. Say what you want, Jamie. All right, do your thing, bro. That is... You not doubling back? No. Yo, what? Shot time. Never, never spin the block. So the reason why I would spin the block is because there's like some type of investment that that's, that's kind of mine, bro. Like, I'm going to be that person that's going to be annoying. Like, I'm going to be the annoying ex-husband. I'm going to be the annoying uh baby dad. Like, sorry. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. Yeah, you, you're gonna make you're her the life, new boyfriend. You're going to make her life miserable for it. I'm going to make it happy as hell. I'm going to be living fly. I'm going to be in shape. She's going to always want to have sex with me. But what if she has a boyfriend? Like, what if she has something going on? I rank all the time no, I'm saying higher. You're, gonna, you're just going to kill everything she got going on. Let me tell y'all from the perspective of, like, why dudes are saying you can't have a, um, like, the reason why they don't want a woman with kids. I'd be the reason that's why the women don't want, because I'm still coming over the house. That's what I'm saying. I'm still, what? so you're adding to the problem. You you added to, why would you do that? Because that's my, that's my, that's the mother of my child. That's my ex-wife. Once, wife's still in the title. That's still in the title. <laughs> Wife is still in the title. It is still in the title. But the first part of it is, is very key. X. Yeah. What does that mean? That means it's, it's done. It's, it's over. That shit let. Till death do us part, dog. All right. All right. We I put a s- down payment on that wedding. The ring is there. Why would you... Look, all right. Why would you not uh, double back? You got all that XP on that poom poom. True. I told you. I'm very methodical. I'm uh. You crazy. Once it's done, it's done. Like I, I have to emotionally wise for my my mental well being. You have to cut that off because, like you say, what if, what if you don't cut it off? What if there is some emotional ties and she start bringing some dude? Home? I'm like, nah, I'm not here to get upset about that. Yeah, so cool. Once bring it's you, done, bring, bring, them. bring them. Cool. And like, like I'm not trying to say no nasty threesome stuff, but I wouldn't even, <laughs> I wouldn't even be there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, when that happens, I'm not there. And I don't want to know about your uh, new boyfriend. I don't want to know about none of that stuff. Yeah. I'm coming to give you that old work that you need. I'm Mike Mike. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike Mike. I'm Mike Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, she go to her say. boyfriend like, I don't feel like it tonight. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. Mm-hmm. That's tough. Nah. Yo, nah, you can't do that, though. I can't even let you do that. What? You got to go, You gotta double back. I will never. And I'm not saying emotionally be there, but double back. Nah, nah. Let her know you still got it. Nah. I think it's just like I say, it's, it's how, how I'm wired. And even with like ex relationships, like I would never. Okay, let's say you break up on some mutual stuff. I don't know what happens, but it's. Mutual? My thing is, like, I'm so. And this is like a point where, like, I feel like I was, say, conceded into point. If we mutually break up, you made a dumb decision. I'm not doubling back. That's you, your. You're you dumb. Gotta, you a good you're, dude. You're dumb. You good dude? Cause I would, I gotta remind. I don't. Her. I don't reward <laughs> bad behavior. I gotta remind you. Nah, yourself. I don't reward bad behavior. You I made like a bad that. choice. There you go. You look, Live you're with you're it. Using the terms, boy. <laughs> I don't reward. Bad I don't. <laughs> I sure don't. <sighs> so even in a relationship, like that's why I'm like, like people talk about, like you see a lot of people they break up one week, they get back together, they oh I'm gonna break up with you, they get back together, blah blah. blah. We don't even have those conversations because you you. You other those words, you know I'm not. Oh, no. the worst word. Oh, we don't. We don't. I've never said the word to her. Yeah, I don't think so. Like yeah. in like joking, like ha. Huh, I think it, like no, no. Nah, nah, I think I said like. I think I said like. Something like to the effect of oh, you mu- you must not <laughs> you must not want to be here. So <laughs> like I'll say something like that. Never. I'll say something like that, but we don't. Yeah. That we yeah. Because right, yeah, like if we if fighting gets to that point like. We not we not fighting on equal ground no more. Like that's not a fight. That's like we don't talk about that. I think it's like the for me, like my dad was such a menace to society. Like when he came around, yeah. Like so, I didn't know my dad for like five years. The first five years of my life, right? Mm-hmm. So whenever, whenever, like you know, you're curious and you're like, what, what, my dad, blah blah. Um. So that that's how everything came up. So I I went to see, I went to visit him first. So I went out of my environment to go see him. So now, at five, this is at yeah. Five. All right. 
So now, I remember like now the dude's coming to New York, and he's he just pulls up like yeah, where you live at, and I it was so crazy like I think I was outside and I go to the like convenience store. He comes to the apartment where we're living at, so my mom's like they like they hate each other right, so. He's like, where's my son? And she's like, he's like, like cursing him out. He's around the corner. So he goes to the convenience store. He sees me. And I'm like, damn, what you doing here? I came to check up on you. Bro. Like, that's how random this dude was. He was just never, like, called. Like, dog, you live all the way in L.A. You're not going to tell me you're coming to New York? No, nothing. Just yeah. surprised. So go back to my apartment. And we talking and all this stuff. And it's just getting later and later into the night. Where do you think this guy's going to stay? He got to stay there. He got to stay at the crib. So now I'm like, I just feel like that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> so you think that's how it's supposed to be. You think he double back? You think he double? <sighs> it's a bad memory, but <laughs> it's what sticks with me. I, Guess what, bro? If you put a baby in that, that's yours. No, that's not mm. how it works. Hmm. I'm just looking at the in the like, opposite, in the opposite way. What if you had a crazy ex-wife that's just always in your stuff? Like just I'm just I'm just trying to say, like, always she could mess up any potential relationship you have going forward. Just like, oh yeah, that you know, that's mine. Like, you know, I, I messed with that last night. I can see what you're Now going. you're crazy. Now you see where you're going. But the the part that you said that was in, insane is like, I'm not crazy. You sound crazy. I'm not. No, no. I'm crazy for trying to mess up and derail <laughs> the the future. Right. Yes, I am crazy. But you, like, we didn't end like I'm crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I thought your situation was like the girl. No, nah, no. Nah, you can end was on was crazy. No, 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 no. You can end on just good terms. End, end on. But now she's crazy for her behavior, saying that she can mess exactly. up. Exactly. Now she's just, she wants to spend the block too. Yeah, she can spend she's the block. Like, you ain't gonna have nobody else but me. She could probably ruin every relationship moving forward. And you're cool with that. If I get caught, man, I ain't quick like the gingerbread man. You're wild, man. <laughs> and then you're right. They're gonna say that stuff. They're gonna when when they're gonna say that stuff to they the girl. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Was I was over, yeah. That's what it is. It's just what it is. That's the price of having an ex wife, ex husband, baby mom, baby dad. Nah. And that's why these young boys don't want to mess with no um no baby moms no more. Yeah, because that, that because of you. Because yeah. of you. It can't be me. I'm not a baby dad yet. I'm a husband. No, but So I'm, it's not me. No, I'm, I haven't even done it yet. You haven't done you, it. You, you, said you, you, you said you will do it. Yes. <laughs> but I have not done it yet, so you can't. Uh, you gonna, I, I, guess, I, guess, me, I guess like, you're right. I guess you're yeah. right. You, I can't. You're right. Because of me. Because of them. Because of <laughs> them. The people that you're teaching this podcast. I'm not teaching nobody <laughs> nothing. I'm just saying from my perspective. You did a whole TED talk on how you went. <laughs> that's mine. It's mine. Okay. You gonna come in here and try to what? You gotta go through me first. That's crazy. You gotta go through me. That's first. a crazy thought. I'm Mike. Mike. When, I, when I'm done, I'm done, bro. I'm out. Yo, that's what's up. So now Anthony Anderson, right? He divorced, and his situation look kind of uh, is very different. Like, I think it's before the fame, and been together. Oh man, the kids are old, like 24 and 22. The kids like they, are 24, 22? Yeah. Ain't no need for no custody battle. That, I feel like he just aged out. Maybe Anthony was just tired of her or something. I don't, I don't know. So, when you talk about what you're scared, like, what scares me the most mm-hmm. is when I see divorces in that age. So, oh, not the right. Tiana Taylor, not the Iman Sumpert, the Anthony Anderson, where you, like, people just grow apart. And it's just like... Sometimes you talk to these people and you look at it, it's like, yeah, we just grew apart. It's like, how did you stop? Like, nah, we, like, there was, like, stuff that seems, like, inevitable. That's so scary to me. Because it's, what if we just grow apart? Because some people grow together. Some people grow apart. Like, that's how people grow. That's what scares me the most. Because I just, yeah, you, it's, it's no, like, nobody cheated. Nobody did this. Nobody did that. The kids are not even a factor no more. They're, you know, they're grown. It's just like. We just yeah. That's when you run into like, what are we here for? Anymore? Like, yeah, what are we here for anymore? Yeah. So, but I, yeah. And I feel you're gonna be surprised. I say I feel bad for her because like if she is 
you know, she's going to divorce. She's going to get spouse support, all this money. Yeah. But then it's like, she's older. Starting like, over it. How are you going to do that? Starting over it. Andy Anderson probably got any chick that want to fall into his lap, and that's probably what happened, right? Like, I'm not saying he cheated or anything, huh. but he has the world in the palm of his hand. And for some reason, his career skyrocketed, like, in the last, like, five years. I mean, so Blackest was a good show. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Um, he got game shows and stuff. So I feel like when you talk about Girl Park, once again, we're seeing a situation where work just took takes over and then you're you not... Th- you think that's what... I think, think that's what happens now. You want to talk about money being the financial, like, thing that breaks people up? I think it's just, like, the day-to-day mundane work. That really separates people. Like you gotta understand, we spent eight hours out the day away from our partner. Yeah. Then you do seven hours of sleep. That's fifteen hours gone. Yeah. So now what is that? Nine hours left in the day. So what I'm seeing is like people what talk about money out? and financial issues, but money and time are always related. And I think the time is the issue. Like people don't equate, like they don't value their time. Yeah. So they they're comfortable making all this money, being away, not spending that time, and then that's where you you get that issue. Like you can have all the money in the world, like you house clean, you know, big house, you know, multiple cars, but like if you ain't spending that time, or if you don't have the time, because mm-hmm. you got to continue to work. Like some people just some jobs require you to work, 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 regardless if you're making a good amount of money. Like you just got to work to continue the money. Yeah. But where do you get to spend the time? And that's what I'm telling you. And then. You really don't have a lot of time. No. So that's what I'm saying. It's like <laughs> you don't. Your time. When you, is when you put limited. yourself in a in a strange situation, so like Anthony Anson got to travel to the studio, go to these different shows, do all these different interviews. Did he have some health issues too? Nah, he just did that. Well, I don't know. Okay. I probably had diabetes. I don't know. Gout. You know how overweight black people get. He probably had some of that stuff, but he did. I think he did the gastric bypass surgery or something. Mm. That's why he got slim. Remember you how big he was. Sure? I know how big he was. was. I remember how big he was. I mean, you know when you got that look on your face, it's gastric. Well, I didn't see that look, but so that's why I said sick because I thought he gradually, even in the show Blackish, like because you can see it kind of gradually, he got smaller, smaller, but then he got small, and I was just like, "What's?" what's..." I haven't heard any health scares. Like we should probably Google it, but I don't, I don't know. But like I said, if you really think you got nine hours out of the day, then you got kids. How much hours do you have to like bond and, not and really rock with each other? And we're just talking about regular eight hour days. We're not talking about Anthony Anderson, Iman Sharper, Tiana Taylor schedules. Yeah. You see what not, I'm saying? Not a lot. So it's it's easy to get a strange, a strange, right? Yeah. And then grow apart. But I think you like you just gotta be aware. Like only thing I can think of is like situationally, like, you gotta be aware of that and you have to either make that change and try to work towards the opposite. So, like, say, you know, maybe the last six months or whatever, you like, maybe you notice that. It's like, yo, I got to make the change to just go completely opposite. Maybe, if maybe that's meaning losing millions or thousands yeah. of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to do that because it's worth more on this side. You know, it's funny you said that. Like, um, did we talk about this? Like, I, was, I don't know if it was me and you on the phone. But I was saying, like, you know, it's time to, like, <clears throat> just, like, retreat into my family. And, you know, we used to go out every week and all that stuff. But now I'm like, uh, something's just telling me to just focus on trying to build a connection. You get that feeling sometimes. So it's like, you know, just lock in. Um, Not saying like I'm not going to talk to anybody, but do be more intentional in having fun and building memories with them. Um, Alex ain't going to remember nothing, so I'm not really worried about her. But like as long as me, my wife and my daughter can do things together, I think... um, that builds a better bond, and you know, you do like silly stuff. Like in the we, I, uh, um, I made popcorn from scratch rather than buy the bag that pops in the microwave. So weird. I wanted to try it, so, so we did that. We had a movie night. It was Friday. We had the movie night. We locked in. We watched a dope movie. That's good. And we had a good time. It's it's very. I think it's very necessary to like be attuned with what your family needs. Yeah, so today, of I mean, I've I've been off because of my injury. And today, uh, Saxon is six. He he said, Dad, why are you always on your phone? And I was like, I'm not always on my phone. Like, I'm watching, you know, sometimes I watch videos or whatever. But I don't I don't consider, like, I've seen people much worse. Like, I don't consider myself always that. 
But I think in his presence, now he wants more of my attention. So now I was like, you know what? I don't, I'm hearing what he said. Because he will say, why are we, like, why do you always do, like, always is just his top word. So it's not meaning always. But I think what he really is meaning is like, yo, r- around me, like, why are you on your phone and not, I guess, paying attention to me? So I was just like, it made me realize, like, yo, so you, around him, just got to be more mindful of the time I'm spending on my phone. Yeah, I don't care about that. Like, when this, if, I'm like, Alex, I put this, Alex whole, says, I put this whole roof on your head. Why don't you ask about why, how can we always but have they house? Can't, so what I'm trying how to say. How can we always have house? They, <laughs> <laughs> how can we always have light? But, how can we always have hot but, water? But, I can be on my phone. I agree with you saying, but they can't understand that. But what they can yeah. understand is me being on my phone. Yeah. It, it like the same kids legit, will ch- the, I, under, the, I understand what you're saying. The same day I took like picked them up from school, took them to the park. We got ice cream. We had a little daddy and then, but again, erased, <laughs> again, erased <laughs> again. But it's just like as when we think about so our childhood, the stuff that we remember. Yeah, my dad wasn't around at all. <laughs> <laughs> my dad randomly showed up. <laughs> What are you talking well, about? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. It's just like, <laughs> we focus on the stuff that we know we like and they and they like, but that's not what they're going to remember. Like, what they're going to remember is stuff, any of the, sometimes the best, like, that's what they're going to remember. So it's just it's like, crazy. focusing on stuff that, if they're tuned to it, I'll, I'll be attuned to it as well. So. Crazy. But so, I think that's, that's funny though. Last, the last divorce. Young Jeezy and Jeannie Ma. Our podcast is popping, bro. Because mm. we talked about Jeannie Ma in one of the reels. It did pretty well. Come up on the back. We said this lady needs to be canceled because she's talking about men like roast chicken. She wants the white meat, the oh. dark meat. She remember, said you that. remember that? Yeah. So she gets divorced from Young Jeezy. Another couple I didn't really care about. It was a weird pairing. Anyway, it's almost like Chardonnay with steak. What are we doing here? We don't do that. Always red with the red. So, saw them get uh, married. They had a baby. And GZ was going through this transformation of me. Like, you have, you notice it? Like, he's not a thug anymore. He wants to be I don't like know what GZ I haven't seen GZ in a minute. Yeah, he's it just switched. Okay. But <laughs> he dropped, I forgot what this mixtape was called with uh, DJ Drama. Fire. Fire. You can put me on this. I will. I was like, Jeezy's back. So when you hear that type of music coming back, we back in the strip club with it. <laughs> it's snowman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We cripped down. He was he was he was probably mid Back in his yeah, he, he was, was divorced, divorced when the mixtape <laughs> dropped. Yeah. When the mixtape yeah, dropped. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. music always becomes before the real life. You know? So I was like, damn, Jeezy back, boy. And yeah. with you know, Jeannie Mike. I would love like, to express my emotional frustration in the like. music <laughs> it's the music i heard the divorce before he even you know crazy. what i'm saying crazy. so you know he's talking about you know in the in the mixtape like back to the streets but it's economic it's about buying the block all type of stuff like those type of things this is for my kids we doing investments we're building trust and he just he, he made it sound dope the one thing i didn't hear was anything about marriage <laughs> Oh, my wife is great. No, no love song on it. No nothing. So I'm like, okay. And now we get the news. They're going through divorce. I'll start with you. How do you feel um, about it? Because I'm, I'm, I'm elated. I'm ecstatic. I am not opposed to this. Like I said, I'm not, in, <laughs> I'm not invested in either one of these. But like, none I'm, of these. I, I've never been. None of them. Uh, yeah. No, either like Jeezy or Jenny Ma. Like, I mean, oh, okay. I, Jeezy That's from people. childhood, but just like. Jeannie Ma, some of her comments, like you say, the dark meat and that 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 was a <laughs> that was a tough one. And just looking at you Hard know, to bounce back from that. Yeah. Hard. Look, looking at some of her I mean stuff that pops, you know, the popular stuff from her, because I don't watch the talk all the time, but not my daytime show. Yeah. She just doesn't seem like somebody I would just be cool with. So I'm 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 comfortable with him just being like, yo, she's yeah, she's done. Maybe she find that white meat she's looking for. Well, she had to wipe me before and then went dark me. It went dark me. Yeah. She'd probably go back. Yeah. You think her ex will double back? If I, she's anything like Bro, you. I guarantee you, Jeezy's going to have sex with her for years to come. 
Ah, interesting. Years to come. Here you go. I think I think Amon will be able to hit well after if they go through divorce. I think Anthony well, Anderson well is going to be able to hit well after. Well after. And I think Jeezy's going to be able to hit well after. The only one I think will be able to hit well after is Amon. The Anthony Anderson? Yeah. Anthony Anderson? No. I think they're so, mutually separated. No. I think they understand. They're, they're older. They're more mature. So it's just like, yo, if yeah. I'm going to do anything, if she's smart. If I'm going to do anything else, I have to separate from Anthony Anderson. I need I'm, something I, to do. Like, yeah. they can't. Anybody else at that age that would want to do anything has to know, like, Anthony Anderson is not in the picture. Yeah. Cool. Amon, a little bit younger. He going, you know, he going to double back. So he got a timeline. He, he got, got a time clock. Yeah. 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 But, uh, Jeezy's smart. Never double back. Do so Jeezy's not not a doubler. G no, I I, I don't He's know what he doubler. falls on between our spectrum, but I think it's to the sense where it's just like you would get. And sometimes it's like more crit. Like you would do so much better if you don't double back. Like sometimes you cause yourself harm doubling back. You gotta give me an example. I don't know when it. Like maybe I'm just blinded by the poems. Like I'm saying, you double back, you can limit your possibilities on this end. Like if they know you doubling back. Yeah, but the double back is really a stockpile of pum pum, right? What, what do you mean? Like I have, I have like a barn, right? You don't. Have I built this barn. I raised the barn. You know how hard it is to raise a barn. Raise a barn. It's not that. Okay, <laughs> so I got the barn and got hay and hauled everything I need in there, yeah. right? Now to build another barn takes a lot of work. So, let's say I got like two sides up. I get tired. I'm like, hit me in my barn. Nah, that's. You yeah, see what I'm it, saying? No, your analogy is not correct. Go ahead. This is not this is not your barn anymore. Yeah, you, somebody's trying to go in my barn. No, 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 no. no. Not, <laughs> not, somebody's trying it's to go not, in my not, barn. It's not bro. your barn anymore. Yeah, but somebody's no, trying no, to go no, in no, it. No, 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 no. You built it. You, I didn't sell it. You uh, <laughs> hold I on. let it go. You you got listen. You got rid of it. Okay. You got rid of it. Maybe you didn't sell it. You ain't getting nothing. I ain't getting nothing back. You ain't getting nothing back from it. But you got rid of it. Okay. It's not yours anymore. Somebody try to pull up on that barn. That's their barn. Now you trying to do your own thing over here. Think, I gotta build another barn. There you go. This is your analogy. You trying to build another barn. Every time you double back to that barn, you know what you're doing? Not building that barn. Look at you. Man. Wasting you're your it, time. You are making it sound so good. That's it's that's right. clear. That's clear. It's clear. Cause I'm, I'm still I'm, doubling I'm back. I'm thinking Jeezy and his. And he got a new mixtape. Like you got things knocking on your door. I, that means I gotta turn down things knocking on my door to go back to my old barn. The mixtape is called Snowfall. Snowfall. I like it. My bad. I appreciate it. I mean, I, I put you on the good music. You know, yeah. I, I heard a Belly album. I was like, yo, Kadeem, I love it. Send it to my man. Still listen to it. But you don't help me out. But I appreciate you. Bro. I don't even know the stuff like would be the stuff I listen to. I don't even know if you like it. You could it. just send me something. I'm going yeah. to send, send you a few things after this. And I guarantee I said, you it's going to be like one listen. You're like, ah, nah. <laughs> This guy is trash. Because <laughs> there's some things you'd be like, you, you, yeah. you tell Yo, me I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Lil Yachty heavy no, right now. No, All right, heavy send, right now. Send me what I, send me what you know. I'm gonna listen to. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna, I, I don't oh, send you everything. I listen to. No, no, no. But I'm a yeah. You're right. So I'm a snowfall. You gotta listen. I know you didn't even hear the song yet. Strike by Lil Yachty. You gotta nah, listen I, to I, it, bro. I, I will take it. Yo. You gotta listen to the song. Until it gets outrageous, I'm gonna And I to thought it. Lil Yachty was. We're going on another tangent, folks. I thought Lil Yachty was trash. Nah. Like, if you know, if you can pinpoint how... I'm, you never want to be the guy that's in, like, a, a certain time of music and you get stuck there. I agree. You want to grow with... Like, music is a progression. I don't know if you want Trends wanna, and progressions, bro. I don't know if you want to grow... I think you have to appreciate all styles of music. And if you listen to something, you should be able to say, is this good or bad? I don't think it's just like, is it good because it's similar to what you like? Or is it bad because it's not similar to what you like? Nah. Is it good or bad regardless of what you I don't think. To? I, I don't think, to me now what I'm thinking is nothing could be good or bad in music. Like, I think lyrics could be damaging. So let's let's separate that. We're not, mean, I'm not talking mean? about lyrics, what, what right? I feel like when you try to take chances with music, you need freedom to just let that stuff... Speak for itself. Okay, I can understand what you say. So let, let me rephrase. Not good or bad. 
if you like or dislike, because you're right. There, there is somebody that's gonna like it regardless. Yeah. So what I'm saying is like there are people that like. Nah, hey, you. you said I like it wrong. bluegrass. What? You said it wrong. Not somebody that's gonna like it regardless. Eventually, the fans will catch up to what you're doing. No, I mean, I, I you think, see what I'm saying. I think instead of me saying like instead of me saying something is good or bad, like say I say it's bad to me, it's not. It's like it's like I don't. I just dislike it. Like bad is not a good term to use. Okay. So what I'm saying is, in overall in music, you said you don't want to be that person stuck. Like there's people that stuck in certain genres, mm-hmm. 80s, 90s, 90s R and B, blah blah blah. I don't like that. I agree with you. I think just because it's not close to what you like, now you dislike it. Little Yachty is not close to what I like, but I should be able to listen to it and say, is it decent or not? Like, you know, without being completely turned off. Yeah. I- I'll listen to it. I mean. Yeah, I'm going to send it to you. Um, yeah, I'm going to send it to you. What do you think about the Belly album, though? Wow. I mean, we all know. He could rap, bro. Yeah. I didn't know he could rap. And it's kind of, he lost points for being Canadian. For some, you lose points for that? Yeah, bro, I'm not into the foreigners rapping and coming uh, to our industry, bro. I don't like coming that. Coming to your our industry, like 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 I don't like that, like bro. The states got like the lock on rapping. I feel like as an American customer, I should be listening to Americans rap. Like don't tell me about hood stuff in Canada. I don't wanna hear that. So no Drake, no uh Exactly. Yeah. How's this is how crazy this is, right? Drake is a Canadian. That's going to tell you what's happening in Houston, Atlanta, and Vegas. Rather than you listen to UGK, Migos, Outkast, and I don't know a Vegas uh, artist. Respect. But he's... I it's kind of crazy. What did he say? He said that on what? What? I mean, all right. Granted, Drake is a global star. So he kind of knows what's going on in these yeah, states. Regardless. No. 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 Not to the extent that UGK would. I, I understand that. But you saying you don't want... he co signs from those people. That's how this all happened. I think, but I don't... Do you think he ain't got it? No, he did get the co signs. He got Bun B's co oh, cool. He got uh, Lil Wayne's co He got everybody's so co-sign. Co- so so that's cool. what projects you. But we're not going to forget you Canadian. You can't just say anything not, you want. I'm not saying we're not. But we, he got the co Cool. If he didn't get the permits... Just because Justin Bieber got an Usher... Uh, Cosign and you sign the Usher don't mean I gotta listen to what you talking about, dog. True, like but I'm a product. But I'm just saying you're a clear product. You're upset that he's talking about these. St- Not upset. I don't care about the artist. I can't relate to your story. You're Canadian. You're Canadian. You can't relate to. Okay. So Belly, I, he could rap, bro. He got bars. I was so blown away. But you're Canadian. Nothing. And relatable. then and then the other thing too. What I think where I resonate with Belly. He's Canadian, but he's overseas Canadian. Like he's an immigrant to Canada. Yeah. So we could all most of it, like in like his. I mean, a lot of his stuff, like immigrant, like he. Yeah. We could all relate to. Well, I could relate to immigration yeah. process coming to a better country. So that's where you could. Belly's a little bit different, but yeah. Belly, that's where you get the weekend. That's where you get Belly. That's where you get French Montana. Like, that's kind of their like their story. Yeah. So I, I do rock with that. I mean, I just don't, like, just regardless of, like, as rapping. Like I said, he can rap. He, I, he I acknowledge, like, I listen to songs, I'm telling you. Like, I listen to songs, I'm just like, yo, this person can sing. Like, I don't even know what they sing, and I don't know what, like, sometimes I don't know, like, this not even my genre, but, like, this dude yeah. can sing. Yeah. And it's just, uh, to appreciate certain things, like, Belly is, like, he can rap. Like, he's, he can you rap. know, not, like, every... You gotta have a hot beat, but he's in one of those genres that I'm talking about. He's in he's in that like, I say Jada, Sheik, Luch, mm. like mm. he's in that that's, genre. That's 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 heavy. That's that's heavy. Comparison, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's I think I think he's like that. Yeah, right. and you know I I put Belly with Meek and and those like that's where I put him. Um, you don't like Jordan though. How do you like you don't like Jordan I, like yeah, that? Yeah, I don't. Crazy. I don't. I don't like Jordan Lucas. I don't like um, Dave East. Mm. And like you, we're saying, like and don't like. I don't. I will not go to their music. Uh. I don't, for some reason, I think it's because they're light skin. I have a prejudice. Broski, but, you ain't like Broski. I don't even. Yeah, no. I, I'm song, not checking bro, for the song, song. Broski. I'm not checking. This is the one you sent me with. Uh, yeah. yeah, no. I, I'm cool. I, I I listened to that one, like three times. And I was done. 
Went right back to uh, Louis Ray, Y and J, Rio the Young OG. Went right back to my my regular Ooh, stuff. Dude. All right, Lil Yachty. We gonna have yeah. After after this, we gonna have a whole cheesy. We gonna have a whole like song. Kendrick. We, we gonna have to listen to some of this stuff because. Oh nah. yo, and, and and before we go, and we're gonna close this bar. Kendrick Lamar. He's in my top five now. Like I'm, I'm re, I'm, I'm really about to readjust. You gotta my give top me some five. tracks. You gotta give me some tracks because Rich maybe, Spirit, I, Rich Spirit, I, I have heard that, that is on that is on my playlist, bro. And the way he's talking on that man, I'm like, God damn. But it resonates with you. Can, but and that's can, what I'm saying. But what I'm saying, can, all right, I and I understand certain people resonate certain ways. Like DMX, I think resonated resonates. resonated in my heart when I was a young child, young young whippersnapper. You that, had that dog in you. That it resonated so much, it was just like, yo, like he says so so much, but talent wise, like so, Kendrick, it resonates with you. But mm-hmm. do you think great? Yeah. He's still a great, like yeah. lyricist. I mean, I think he great is, lyricist. Man. He can switch to, he can change his voice up. Like he gets in every pocket. J Cole does that too. But when I have to pick sides, I don't. I don't, J Cole doesn't resonate with me. That's I don't know why. So, okay, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just the reason why I said that is because I've talked to people on both sides, and you know, some people swear by Kendrick, some people swear by it's know, like the, it's Jay, a line, right? Joe, I, mean, I feel like the triangle right now is Drake, Cole, and Kendrick. In terms of like the top lyricists, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nah, you kind of shaky with Drake being a lyricist. I know, I know. He did get right writing uh, credit to other people. Um, close the bar. Uh, so we didn't get into one other topic, but that's fine, man. We gave him a whole pot. Yeah. Uh. I feel like if we were to sum up what's going on, I got to say, man, like, I want to just focus on the divorces that happened. It's pretty scary, man. And when you start looking at the mortality of love (laughs) and what that is, it's crazy to think about it, bro. Like, life can get in the way of your situation where you look at somebody and you could just hate them, or you could go and pick up a relationship with somebody else, and it's it's really crazy to me. So it makes me think about just like really taking stock in my barn, mm. and whenever something is like falling down, uh, the wood is not where it's supposed to be. Pick it up. Hey, whoa! We can't do X, Y, and Z today. I'm focused on rebuilding this wall repainting the roof got leaks coming in like if you don't save up and do those renovations then yeah it becomes an annoying mess like water's coming through the animals the poop is everywhere because you didn't shovel stuff out you got i think as a man we got to take stock and like take ownership in fixing those things Mm. right so i'm looking at all this stuff and i'm like it, the Instagram stuff is cool. The Instagram stuff is fly. Like, you picking up your girl at a war show and you dry humping her and, like, y'all talking mm-hmm. about threesomes. That's fly, but how does that... Sus- divorce. How, yeah, but how... Yeah. How do you sustain your, your situation so your kids grow up and they see mommy and daddy together? Yeah. Um, What's so, the, and that's the goal, right? To me? Mm-hmm. What are we doing this for? Yeah. So, like, it, it's cheesy to say, like, how you make your girl... And, and you know what, bro? Like, it's two people, too. We got to stop this thing, like, where us as husbands got the the burden to hold this thing together. Oh, oh who thinks that? I think I think society and women. Huh. I think society and women. I think society and women really think that we got to be getting flowers all the time. We got to be, like I said, we got to fix the bar. No, come and help me fix what's going on. So we got, all got to put in work in it, and I think people just are quick to give up, and we can't give up. You know what I mean? So I'll take that standpoint in my um my last call right there. I will piggyback off what you said and start with there is no give up. Give up is not even an option. So you just take that off the plate. So she this, becomes a crackhead. We not giving up. We not we not giving up. Sucking dick and candy. We not, now we not giving up. Woo. We 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 not we not give with this. Give up is not an op. Give up is not an option. You understand? So it's just like, Sucking you know, nah, give up is not an option. And I, I just feel like, 
divorce doesn't happen overnight. So just like what you just said, don't play around with your priorities and realize this ain't just happened. This you've probably seen it. Like I can talk to we can talk to many people. You've probably seen what this was that, that was that, but just like you didn't think anything of it. Think something of it. Like just keep in mind, take stock of what's going on. Every once in a while, like as a suggestion, every once in a while, I know for me, like a couple months, three months, I try to do it. I guess it's every yeah, three months. Just like, just check, like, where are we? What are we doing? What are our goals? What are we going towards? And another thing I, I, I focus on is to go, like, make sure you focus on your, you got a dream together. Your true, your long-term goals yeah. and short-term goals matter more than short-term inconveniences. That's great. Because short-term inconveniences will happen every day, every week, every month. Somebody needs something. Some family member needs something. Somebody needs something. And if you don't have goals to push you, like somebody needs $1,000. If you don't have a goal that says, hey, I need $1,000 for that goal, but this family member needs this. Why not give it to the family? Like, it's so many things that can get in the way of your process. So focus on your goals. Don't let short-term inconveniences stop your goals. And, yeah, grow grow together. Because that's my, that's my biggest fear. But yeah. I like it, man. If your family don't dream together, man, there's nothing to walk forward to. Yeah. So, hey, man, y'all like the pod? Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what's going on. And, all, you know, a new thing, too, pick out what you like about the points that Jamie's making, that I'm making. Make sure you put in the comments so we know what side y'all leaning towards. And who knows? Maybe we'll have a shot debate, shot battle as to we'll see. who's winning the crowd. You know what I'm saying? We can do yeah. that a little bit later. But you messed later up on that the pod. I, you know, I think people resonate with me, man. Yeah, okay. I think they resonate with me. But uh, you already know, man. It's a shot of discourse. Peace. We out.